mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I'm here at Living Hope Church in Watualebu. This church was built in uh, 2003, 2004. And uh, this is the church of the Back then, this church was, uh, was a struggle, and uh, especially the church was uh, beginning with only young people. Hardly um, people that uh, they work or well off uh, that they were attracted in those days just another church it was in 2000 um, era that a lot of new churches happened in Fiji especially in this area a lot of new churches they rises during that time and this church was arrested in 2002 so it was another church and I believe other people they were not really keen to join New Methodist Christian Fellowship number one because of uh, the stand of the church uh, that is to uh, keep the holiness of God. The Bible says that uh, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. That means we have to keep the holiness of God. That means preaching against karma, preaching against uh, uh, sexual sin, preaching against uh, uh, smoking, marijuana, drugs in those days. And it, it was uh, something that is new because uh, church they, they don't preach against those things people were uh, like they avoid those controversial issues hallelujah which is sin which is sin we preach against other sin but uh, the social sins we we try to avoid because the people they think when you preach against uh, a sinful life or sinful ways people will not come to church but uh, it was so different at the time back in 2000 three, two thousand four, two thousand five. And uh, the stand of the church and also the name of the church, New Methodist Christian Fellowship. And people think that it was a breakaway from the Methodist Church, which is not Hallelujah. The Lord just spoke to us as a family and we just started a church. Not a breakaway, not something that we don't like about uh, uh, the church that we used to go to before, which is uh, the Methodist Church with all due respect. Um, we learn a lot from the church and I still learn a lot from the church till today. But uh, the new Methodist was the name that the Holy Spirit placed in our heart. Uh, if John Wesley keep the holiness of God, if John Wesley, I will repeat again, if John Wesley preach against uh, sinful life, he said, keep me hundred men who fear nothing but God, who hate nothing but sin. Hallelujah. Two, de two declarations that John Wesley said, you give me hundred men that they fear nothing except God. Hallelujah. And those men, they hate nothing except sin. He said, then we will conquer the world. He preached holiness, holiness and holiness. And that's why they were so powerful in those days and touching the four corners of this planet because of the holiness preaching. Now, when I start preaching holiness, I start to feel that people, uh, they don't want to come near. And uh, at that time, I don't really understand, but now I really understand because people want to go to church just by the name of in the church or denomination, but they love the sinful way. They love God at the same time, they love the world or they love sin and that's why it's difficult for people to live their sinful way because they love it and they go and serve God but well you can't serve two masters you will you loyal to one and you will disloyal to one you will love one and you will hate one and it is a challenge in those days well we build a church with a lot of young people in the Batuolebu area in uh, Malawai area, Nazaba area, Matabolimoli area. And then, because the young people were attracted to the lifestyle, hallelujah, very dynamic, we will come and have a, a lot of uh, camp here. A lot of camp. Nearly every weekend we will have a camp. And you're talking about only 15 youth. Now, 20 youth, 100 youth. And then we go to another step, mission, the missionaries. Hallelujah. And the mission can be over 50. 
and those missions they have the energy and they will take here they will take the only thing that we do hallelujah is read the bible do skits and action song and teach them the word of god how to live uh, a godly life and when they go out from here they were very powerful in spreading the word because we start to see signs and wonders signs and wonders start to follow us wherever we go and that time because there were there was no bible school that i attend there was no uh, seminary that i attend it was purely the hunger for god as as you notice that we just came back from the black rock and it's a program that the boys will be here we call this uh, camp david one day me and pastor david were we were sitting here and uh, uh, he said the lord spoke to me to build a, a house which is camp david on my right hallelujah so he gave his card to randini uh, to, to build uh, this uh, this camp david we call this camp david a place that we come and camp hallelujah the boys from all over fiji will come and uh, they set up the camp here and that's where we go through bible studies and skit and we will be doing our open air from here targeting the people the outskirts of the 211 well it works holy spirit works in very strange way in a very different way so we we were really blessed and this is where we launch the power the anointing the fresh manner from god from this place and then we moved to suba with the mission team and then the rest is history so i want to challenge our life from here at living hope church here in Matulia. and on my right is camp david hallelujah to anybody that you are out there that god can do exceedingly abundantly and miraculously in your life if you're willing to follow him god is waiting for anyone and he's calling our life maybe he's calling you my friend right now and it's a challenge as i stand here and i look back to 2005 the last time that uh, my office was in the church on, the, on this side of the church 2005 now it's 2020 15 years ago hallelujah and i thank the lord for his faithfulness hallelujah a lot of people ask me why don't you build a church well i built a church in 2005 before i built another church on the roadside the queen's road and that is the jire church this church can house about uh, 300 people but i see it's not so important the building what's important is the people is the person that the, the life must change the life must be restored back to god what's the use of the building hallelujah if the life is not changed and it's a lesson for me as a tal -tala, that i must focus on life changing message the church that is life changing to people restoring the people's marriage restoring young, young people's life that the people that they go back to wisdom and knowledge and they have the maturity to tackle the life of this world whatever they do in this life they have the maturity they have the knowledge for them to go through whatever pandemic that the world can throw at them so i want to challenge our life today whether you are uh, live on facebook or whether that you will watch on television later it is real to walk with god god is so real when this piece of land was given to me uh, must thank isaiah from sonaka village when, when this land was given to me he came one morning to my house my house we can walk down if you walk down from here it's only five minutes you walk down it's still there one five bedroom double story concrete behind that one double story five five bedroom wooden they just next to one another i was there when this man from saunaka came to me and said the lord spoke to me when i was beating the lali this morning to give you a piece of land and i said well my my home i bought it from housing authority through home finance so i don't need a piece of land at that time the church was very small we normally go to Tokatoka or we go to uh, 
uh, uh, to Mokambo uh, to go and church there on Sunday. And before he went, I said, he told me, what about the church? And I said, okay, for the church. I get into his twin cab, a white twin cab. We came and parked here. And this place was just full of weeds. So we have to go under the weeds. And we came here and said, this is our piece of land. And I want to give it to you. Hallelujah. So this piece of land was given free. Today we are leasing it right now. Hallelujah. What God can do. I'm just not talking about vehicle. Now I'm talking about piece of land. And I'm standing on a piece of land that was blessed by um, a clan uh, from Saunaka village. And today we are leasing this piece of land. Glory to God. And I believe that it was the Holy Spirit that woke him up in the village. He said, I was beating the lali for the Masumasu in the morning. When the Lord spoke to me, you go to Taltalatu, you offer him a piece of land. Well, the rest is history. I'm sharing this because most of the time, people, you listen to the preaching, but you don't believe God. That's why I had a lot of testimony and I share the testimony within the preaching for you to understand the fruit of faith the fruit of the word of God when you obey the word of God God will bless you because that's his word only one thing that God focus on his eyes that focus on his eyes focus on his word in Jeremiah 1 12 I will watch over my word until my word come to pass our first remember this our first conference was in Suba at uh, um, uh, the theater in Suba in Nambua what do you call the theater in Nambua? the state theater in 2004 we held our first conference there about 120 people and that is the new Methodist in 2004 in 2005 we all we, we built this church we held our conference here here this was a stage back in 2005 and this after that, when we finish with the church every night, I'll be sleeping here with my mattress, waiting for another day. The congregation will be sitting around here. So 2004 to 2005, we never reached the 200 mark for whole new Methodist in Fiji. Today, we fill up a stadium of 8,000 seats. That is the faithfulness of God, my friend. And if you are Taltala, if you are Dobu now, and if you are church elder, that you are watching this clip today. Our God is a faithful God. He's still faithful yesterday, faithful today, and faithful tomorrow. And I want to challenge your life. He faithful to Noah. He faithful to Abram. He faithful to Isaac. He faithful to Jacob and his children. He's faithful to our forefathers that received the gospel back then in 1830 and 1835. He's still faithful to me today. And he will be faithful to you. From Living Hope here in Batuolebu in Nandi, on our way to Lotoka, meet us in Lotoka at 4 o'clock for the Youth for Christ program. You will be energized. You will be blessed with the items and testimony, and especially the Word of God, that God will place in my heart to share with you this afternoon. Have a wonderful afternoon. God bless you all.